Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Hello. We're here to investigate your daughter's death. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time. To the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed... Tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. The clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. Well, they fixed her tears. I'll examine her things. In the original, it, look, it looks like she she cries blood. Well, I think it was probably meant to be mascara. Right, anything in here? No. All right. Uh, oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. I want to 
be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creatives. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Neth, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I, I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. All right. Neth made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. So, Forta, uh, Women of Vienna, whatever it was called. Alright, then we've got Jerut is the password for the VIP. So we'll head there now. Do you have anything more for me to buy? Yes, you do. Right, grab those. How about you, you got anything else? Yes. Grab that. Oh, uh, about Kenny. Was that his name down here? I know you're gone, but do you have anything else? No. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Let's get into the VIP section. told me the rest of afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerud. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. I like it. Simple, easy to remember. Okay, not going in my armor. You must go in alone. Morinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. All right. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. All right. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway. 
That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. All right. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake, Ken Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. You're welcome, Samara. All right, let's go kill your daughter. That's a horrible thing to say. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. What kind of music did they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Alright, Expel 10, let's keep that in mind. The music here used to be avant garde. Couldn't dance to it, but he felt smart listening to it. Oh, uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right, slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floyd. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile game leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florence, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Terminal eternity. Terminal and eternity. In that order. Just work them into a sentence. All right. Oh. Are you still here? Darn it, anyone. You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. <clears throat> yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. Of course you are. Good for you. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Yo, you're all set, mate. Lots of money on display. Good cred hunting tonight. Hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep him off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? I want you gone from here. Hey, we gotta pay the man. We work for Hink. You hear that? So. How about I give you enough creds for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets hurt. Works for me. Let's go. No thanks. I don't talk to people. Do you know anyone interesting? I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. 
Perhaps the standards must be low. You're here. It's pathetic when humans try to talk big. Bartender, give me another drink. They're scary. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rebel approved, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! <laughs> My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? I'll do that. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same thing. Do we? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halleck? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Borda? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My there we go. I want you, alone. you have to be you have to be so careful about which options you pick with her. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Let's have a look at some other potential things to click on. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Looks, looks exactly like the one on, in, uh, on the Presidium. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Alright. Let's get this over and done with. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted. And you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Into my eyes. No. Tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Surprise! <laughs> Don't count on it. But you. Who are you? Oh no. 
I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Here we go. Morin. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Bye, Morin. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <laughs> as well do you want to talk about what happened Shepard what do you think I will say what can I say I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters there are no words I will try another time for now show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave let's go Doppelganger. there we go We now have uh, Samara's loyalty done. Okay. I think we're. Oh, excuse me. Pretty much done here now. So we can crack on with other side missions. down there you know anything about this dead Vorcha? no don't know anything about that uh-huh right well my job just got a whole lot easier are the Vorcha gonna be a problem from here on out not as bad as they used to be they breed fast but they die young as long as we keep them controlled we'll be fine what's your job here exactly I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line keep them out of Arya's sight that's about it not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Alright. Need to remember that to pick up the packages for that Salarian as well. Uh, Normandy. Alright, let's go have a chat with Samara, see how she's doing. Cheers, Cal. Uh, cruise courses. God damn, it's hot in here. This one? Yeah. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. Good point. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. What will you do now that Morith is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. 
and perhaps even other Aradyakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. That's very true. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Alright. <laughs> All right, Thane, how you doing? <coughs> oh, Jesus! Excuse me. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk, if you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know. Let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Hmm? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remember the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. That's a strange way of looking at yourself. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Uh, that time. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. I haven't had a chance to speak to a draw before. It's been fascinating. I doubt many humans have. There are only a few hundred thousand of us left, after all. I won't keep you. 
All right, cool. Are we doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. All right. Good, this area is now complete. Excuse me. Got a false signal to take down there. Finish off these fire walker missions. We've still got Project Overlord to do. Save a crashing ship that still hasn't crashed. And we've got this mission down here. Okay. That's all done. Oh, there's another one there. No, you're done. That's fine. Let's head over here then, get this side quest out of the way. Alright. Pull signal over there, and we've got these planets to scan. Be right back. Alright, found a secret side mission on this little moon here. So let's go sort this out. And there we go, Samara loyalty achieved. Ah, Batarians. About to set off a, a nuke somewhere. Anything down here? No. There's two missiles, and remember rightly, we can only stop one of them. Okay, now what? Oh, through here. Uh, Target. 
Uh, Spaceport Industrial District. Apply kill switch to protect Alliance interests and tactical viability, albeit at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city. Uh, capital City. Apply kill switch here to save the city and hundreds of lives with its industrial area destroyed. However, this colony will no longer be viable and have to be evacuated. That one should do. We're done here. Destroy colony of Vulcan, protected colony residential core, thousands of lives saved. Yeah, that that was that was the call to make. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Excellent. Uh, Diana, Arya Tullet told me where to send this. I'm Neff's mother, Diana. We talked when you came to investigate her death. Arya also told me that a dead Asari woman was found in one of the wealthy apartments, that she was the one who'd killed my daughter. Thank you. I don't know who brought you into my life, but thank you for avenging my daughter. My nephew deserves better than this. I couldn't give it to her, but you at least killed the bitch that took what little she had away. You are welcome. All right. I don't know why I'm over here when the mission was over here. Right, house of fuel and right that's all maxed out let's go get this done disable the false signal excuse me that's no, there on sanctum right go do some scanning all right here we go let's get this finished tally garris the dream team Hey Blue Suns! How have you only just noticed? Worst guard ever. Heads up. You're not done. I'll take that. A shuttle just landed outside the southern entrance. Get out there and take them out now. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Due to concerns over employee safety, the Broadfield mining facility has been closed until further notice. <laughs> Stay still. They should punch through their armor. All right, anyone else want to go? Oh. 
Right, I think that's where I'm supposed to go, so let's check the other side first. Living quarters, yeah, let's see what's in here. Hello? There were a lot of people here, once upon a time at least. Huh. That was a bit of an awkward one. Hey cousin, that jerk Selim just fired me for no reason. I swear the guy has it out for me. I hear the Blue Suns are hiring people to take out some dumbass vigilante on Omega. I'm gonna go show them how it's done. Wish me luck. <laughs> um. Yeah, how did that go for you? All right, now we can go. So bizarre how so many, how so many of the events here link back to us, eh, Garrus? Very weird. Ooh, iridium, thank you. Right, no ambush yet. I'm sure, they'll get to us eventually. <coughs> We've got a major haul coming in from that dink site, boys. Move all the unsorted cargo to the mines to make room. Hmm. Whoever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. You say that. Tally, how's your hacking? Yeah, you don't have hacking yet. But right, I should probably switch to this. There we go. everyone <coughs> excuse me 
Right, what have we got here? Give me all your credits. Obviously, you lot don't need it anymore. <laughs> right, what's on this side? Got to be something in here worth picking up. Uh, an agent from the prospective client arrived today. The client has asked for discretion, which raised a few red flags. On Commander Santiago's suggestion, I plan to persuade the agent to divulge the nature of uh, and, lo and the location of the cargo. Well, that didn't take long. The client's agent folded under minimum pressure. Commander Santiago's hunch was correct. The client hopes to hire us to move a Prothean artifact from the dig site. With a little more per, uh, pressure, the agent should gladly give up the location of the dig site itself. Uh, it took some persuasion, but uh, the agent gave up the location of the dig site. I'm dispatching ships and men to the location now. Santiago ought to be pleased. That present artifact is worth much more than we'd ever get for transporting it. What lovely people. Alright, let's shut this operation down. So a quick scout, anything in here worth picking up? No. God damn it. I keep forgetting to turn my fan off. Hopefully the audio won't be too affected. That should it, do it. It's so damn hot in here, it's unreal. Yeah, there, Kelly. All right. We should be done with this system now. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's what I like to see. Right, there's no point doing Hackett's mission now because that's going to take a full episode in of itself. Same with uh, Overlord. So what else? do we have to do? Save the crashing ship. You're 100%. You're already 75. Okay. Alright, let's uh, go and save this crashing ship to tie off this episode. Excuse me. Alright, there's the crashing ship. I'm going to do some scanning quickly and then we'll be right back. All right, uh, well, my headset lost charge, so I uh, charged my headset up a bit while I did all my scanning, and I discovered another side mission in this sector, so we're going to get this done and save the crashing ship, and then we'll call this an episode. Might as well round it off, getting this, this cluster 100% completed. All right, good. And then once this is done, I can call it a day, I think, for a recording. I've got about five episodes of this done. Now I've got to fight the Geth. Yep, yeah, I have that, and I'll have my disruptor ammo. Headset still battery low, you've been charging for a bit. Thing is, it doesn't really charge like this, the connection's loose. What? 
Don't guess. There we go. Jesus. Stay with me, headset, please. Jesus. Alright, so what were these geth up to? There we go. Sorted. Recover the geth technology, climate changing tech. Alright. They were terraforming. All right, and tie this episode off. We'll go save this crashing ship. And that should put this nebula at 100% done. Board. Although I'd argue if it's already in the atmosphere, it's probably already too late. But I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a physicist. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I can hear my headset disconnecting and reconnecting. It's probably going to lose power soon. Oh, dealing with the geth again. That's fine. Disruptor ammo on. Uh, I'm moving the ship to yellow alert. While we have seen no signs of trouble, I'm not, I'm not so sure we won't run into the geth this far out. We have to be prepared for anything. I've been told it's a terrible idea to go this far out toward geth territory, but these colonies need to defend themselves. Uh, sometimes I think the only thing keeping the crew from shriveling up in fear is the 100 crates of military grade weaponry on board a little shore leave when we get to the that system will do us all some good we have a lot a lot of deliveries to make and it's not going to get any friendlier out here red alert moving the ship to red alert the geth are attacking we're ill-equipped for an attack of this magnitude but we'll do everything we can to survive this. These colonies need these weapons, and this attack is further proof of how dire the situation is out here. This will be the last entry in this log, given the severity of the Geth attack. I have ordered all hands to evacuate and head toward the colony. Should the Geth succeed in capturing this ship, they, they also gain control of the 100 crates of weapons in the cargo hold. Therefore, I am using my authorization codes to scuttle the ship, hopefully destroying the Geth that remain on board. I intend to stay aboard to make sure this ship dies gracefully. My plan is to disable the ship's engines, thus causing our orbit to, to decay. This will bring the MSF Broken Arrow down to the surface, where the self-destruct timer will destroy the ship. I must be careful. If I fail, there's no telling where the ship will end up. 
Yes, I know the battery's low, but you keep losing connection, headset. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just the headset connecting and then reconnecting. Uh, a flying life support system's damaged, hull breached, uh, decorated local atmosphere, venting space failed. Disable to restore power, re-engage the power couplings, warning atmospheric uh, entry detected, impact with planetary surface imminent. Yay! Oh, you were hacked. Okay. Right, that's that side done. I know the battery's low, but you won't charge when you're turned on and connected for some reason. Dumbass headsets. Alright, how do I get over there then? Okay, you're not letting me through that way. So, how do I get to the other side? Ah, this way. Found it. <coughs> I'll light up. Right, that's now all activated. Engine control restart. There we go. Yay, we did it! That should do it. Stay polite, uh, stay alive, broken arrow, remaining gap have disengaged, the Connolly is safe. Yay! That's just taking me into the hour territories, so that's fine. Right, I'm going to end this episode here before my headset dies again. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.